A slip of the foot you may soon recover, but a slip of the tongue you may never get over. A house is not a home unless it contains food and fire for the mind as well as the body. Be at war with your vices, at peace with your neighbors, and let every new year find you a better man. Be civil to all, sociable to many, familiar with few, friend to one, enemy to none. Be slow in choosing a friend, slower in changing. Being ignorant is not so much a shame, as being unwilling to learn. Do not anticipate trouble, or worry about what may never happen. Keep in the sunlight. Dost thou love life? Then do not squander time. For that's the stuff life is made of. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Educate your children to self-control, to the habit of holding passion and prejudice and evil tendencies subject to an upright and reasoning will. And you have done much to abolish misery from their future and crimes from society. Either write something worth reading, or do something worth writing. Fear not death for the sooner we die, the longer we shall be immortal. Happiness depends more on the inward disposition of mind, than on outward circumstances. He that can have patience can have what he will. He that is good for making excuses is seldom good for anything else. Hide not your talents. They for use were made. What's a sundial in the shade? How many observe Christ's birthday? How few? His precepts. I didn't fail the test. I just found 100 ways to do it wrong. If wall printers were determined not to print anything till they were sure it would offend nobody, there would be very little printed.
If you would not be forgotten, as soon as you are dead and rotten, either write things worth reading, or do things worth writing. In wine there is wisdom. In beer there is freedom. In water there is bacteria. It is the first responsibility of every citizen to question authority. Justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. Keep your eyes wide open before marriage, half shut afterwards. Love your enemies, for they tell you your faults. Many people die at 25, and aren't buried until they are 75. My refusing to eat flesh occasioned an inconveniency, and I was frequently chided for my singularity, but, with this lighter repast, I made the greater progress, for greater clearness of head and quicker comprehension. Flesh eating is unprovoked murder. Remember not only to say the right thing in the right place, but far more difficult still to leave unsaid the wrong thing at the tempting moment. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I may remember. Involve me and I learn. The best thing to give to your enemy is forgiveness, to an opponent, tolerance, to a friend, your heart, to your child, a good example, to a father, deference, to your mother, conduct that will make her proud of you, to yourself, respect, to all others, charity. The Constitution only guarantees the American people the right to pursue happiness. You have to catch it yourself. The heart of a fool is in his mouth, but the mouth of a wise man is in his heart. The person who deserves most pity is a lonesome one on a rainy day who doesn't know how to read. They who can give up essential liberty to obtain a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Three may keep a secret if two of them are dead. It is a great confidence in a friend to tell him your faults, greater to tell him his.
Trouble knocked at the door, but, hearing laughter, hurried away. We are all born ignorant. But one must work hard to remain stupid. We do not stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. We must all hang together, or assuredly we shall all hang separately. Whatever is begun in anger, ends in shame. While we may not be able to control all that happens to us, we can control what happens inside us. Who is wise? He that learns from everyone. Who is powerful? He that governs his passions. Who is rich? He that is content. Who is that? Nobody. Whoever would overthrow the liberty of a nation, must begin by subduing the frenes of speech. You may delay, but time will not. 